Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. A lot of you over the last year, particularly in the last exam term, have been asking me whether I prefer to use paper and pen for writing my notes or whether I like to use the computer slash the iPad for my notes. And so I thought I'd make this video quickly to explain how I like to use a combination of both and how that works best for me. Right, getting straight to what I do uh, when I try and revise and learn. In lectures slash supervisions, I really appreciate having a pen or my iPad with a pen, but ideally, you know, pen and some paper to make notes. Especially if they've given us a handout, I do like making my own notes slash annotations slash diagrams as the lecturer is going through the material. Also, when I'm revising, I like to use plain paper and I sort of just tend to write notes out on plain paper. And this is quite nice because it gives me the freedom of writing whatever I want slash jotting whatever diagrams I want. Now I use computer written notes more for revision. When it gets closer to the exams, I find that using computer and reading online notes, but also typing up my own notes, it's much faster and more efficient for me. I know back at GCC, I did actually spend a lot of time handwriting very neat notes, but at university when there's a huge quantity of stuff, writing sort of revision notes is much easier on the computer. When I revise using these lovely written notes on the computer, Again, I do like to write them out by hand because I realise that in the final exam, I'll be writing with my hands, with a pen and some paper. I think it's very important that I just get used to writing a lot because I guess between the year long period between exams, um, you really do sort of lose that feeling of writing a lot in a very short period of time. A lot of my friends, both at school and at university, have a similar approach. They like to use pen and paper in lectures and they like to use a computer to write up neat notes. Now, some people are quite clever. They take their neatly written notes and using some pretty cool phone scanning apps, they sort of scan their documents in. And then using their handwritten notes, they can then have some online, um, some online notes. And this is one way to go about it. Recently, I came across this bit of software called PDF Element Pro 6, I think. And on that software, what you can really do in a very easy manner is sort of scan your written notes in and they use this technology called, I think, Optical Character Recognition, OCR, um, like the exam board. And using this OCR technology, it can convert your handwritten notes into editable word text on the computer. This is a very new and very efficient way of converting your handwritten notes and lectures into an online format. And I think this can be particularly good for saving time when you are converting those lecture written notes into neat revision notes. Of course, with PDF Element Pro, you can still do a lot of other things, clearly, like editing any PDF you have. And that's the thing about PDFs, right? Once you export something as a PDF or if someone sends you a PDF, it's very hard to edit the file. Whereas with software like this, as you can see, you can just simply change any text in that PDF that you want. So let's say you do find some really good revision notes on the internet, but some of it is irrelevant or some of the facts are wrong and you want to have a factually correct version. Of course, given that you're not breaking any copyright laws, you can then download these notes, put them into PDF Element Pro, then make amendments to the notes so that the version you have is indeed correct. I guess also, I'm not sure if this is allowed or not, but a lot of lecturers have typos, have small mistakes in the lecture notes. And so having this bit of editing software can really allow you to correct those, um, those, uh, those mistakes in your online version of the notes that lecturers give you. So it's a very versatile bit of software. But I think the most interesting thing that I come across is this OCR technology where you can convert your handwritten notes into the online version. Now I guess this does depend on how neat your handwriting is as well. For someone like me with rather messy handwriting, I feel as if this sort of technology might struggle a bit, but if you've got pretty neat handwriting and you want a really easy method of converting your handwritten notes into an online format, this is great. But ultimately I think it's important to have a combination of both. I like the satisfaction of writing notes by hand. I like the satisfaction of revising using pen and paper, but I also appreciate the ease and flexibility of studying from my computer. That said, I do feel that when I am studying off my computer, I do tend to lose um, focus quite quickly uh, or faster than I do when I'm um, revising with pen and paper. I assume this would be because we spend so much time on a computer anyway, and we're reading so many online articles or reading so many things on the computer screen. So that when we end up reading large amounts of text or lecture notes on the computer screen, our brain sort of disengages 
as it does when we're reading web pages. Um, and this is not too useful because when you're revising, you do want to try and retain as much as you can. So all those waste of paper, again, with the lecture notes here and there, I do like to print them out as well and carry them around with me and read them um, sort of in a, in a physical format. I hope this video has been useful. And I guess if you're like me and you do like using a combination of handwritten notes and computer written notes, maybe do check out PDF Element Pro. And yes, the link is in the description down below. Uh, do go and check it out. As always, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you soon in the next video.